collapsed. Law enforcement officials believe they have finally found her remains. WFT's Sydney Martin joins us now. Sydney, you attended the press conference earlier this afternoon. What did you find out? So law enforcement officials actually said that the remains were found just 2.5 miles northwest of Orange Heights, an area that they had conducted multiple searches on in the past year. Now officials are describing the area as swampy and near railroad tracks, even going on to say it's not very accessible. Once word reached the uh, search area and the command post uh, that uh, that Brim had been discovered, um, there was officers that knelt in prayer and in thanks uh, that uh, we finally have, have located Hannah. 23-year-old Hannah Brim disappeared back on January 19th. And investigators say they might finally have a resolution for her family. Today, officials say they think they have finally recovered her remains. The area where the bones were found was described as remote. This comes after Tobias described prior searches as multiple and exhaustive. On September 14th, Brim's ex-boyfriend Nelson Armas was indicted on first-degree murder charges in the case, but officials could not say today if he led them to the remains. Police officers initially said that Armas wasn't talking and couldn't say if that had changed. I'm not sure of Mr. Armas' uh, in, in inclusion into this. Uh, from what I understand, um, everything has kind of been status quo as far as his, his cooperation goes. The condition of the bones or cause of death could also not be confirmed. No, unfortunately, these are um, uh, human bones that have been found, and uh, so it's going to take some time for the medical examiner and the experts at the CA Pound uh, Laboratory to, uh, to determine that. Now, Brim's family was notified earlier today of the discovery. They shared their sincere thanks to anyone who helped in some way in the search for their daughter. Now, funeral arrangements have not been made yet.